So I have here the uh, last iteration of this um, do-it-yourself Arduino stepper motor laser XY scanner. Uh, I'm not going to be working on it after this because uh, it's just too many problems with the system and it's an incredible headache to code. Hardware is as we showed in the last video. No changes made there. Everything's still pretty standard. Just the uh, MPN switch to uh, switch to high current, high voltage, relatively high voltage, you know, 12 volts, 70 milliamps um, per coil for each one of the coils on the steppers. It's uh, a single pulse unipolar, and I have it running with a um, 115 milliwatt. Uh, four or five nanometer laser right now because that one can run an unlimited duty cycle. I don't have quite as many lasers as I used to. Anyway, it's working good. Uh, I tried about 30 different designs, and mind you, it takes a long time to hand program in designs. Um, with the amount of jitter and bounce and flicker <laughs> and having to manually go in, and even with the subroutines, I mean, it's way easier having the subroutines there, but even having them, I have to still go in and look to see which coil was last used, for which axis, and then rewrite a new subroutine to match up the previous subroutine to the next subroutine, um, because in a true stepper controller, it remembers what the last coil used was, and you only send pulses to advance and in what direction to advance. So it does all the math and, and algorithms to figure out what coils get pulsed when, for how long. Um, and this is doing it all in code. No hardware for that at all. And no algorithms, just my brain. So yeah, um, so the results aren't great, but I can show you anyway. Mind the mess. That is supposed to be a letter eight, or number eight. <laughs> uh, not quite, right? Well, as you can see, um, the two center, two center horizontal lines there are actually on the same point uh, in the code that is on the same point. So the whole thing should be squished a bit, and those two should be one line, and then all these swirlies here and here and there, all the swirls at the corner. Yeah, they, they don't exist in code. That's an artifact of the uh, the rotor inertia and such, and maybe stray magnetics. But it's as fast as I can push them, and as complex of a design as I can push them with it behaving. Um, at, more than this, it starts missing steps, and then it'll start walking up or over in a corner or both at once, and um, you just get the design go whoosh. And that doesn't really help. So that's the end of this little thought experiment project. It can be done. It can't be done well, but it can be done. Thanks for watching.